Today we're going to talk about a group of men that lost a close friend to violence. The next day they went out and got revenge. Because of that revenge, they will spend the next 30 years in prison. So this story takes us to Coney Island in Brooklyn. Coney Island is known to the world as a beautiful, fun place to take the family to the beach. You can hop on some fun rides, eat all kinds of foods, hot dogs, burgers, cotton candy, beautiful women and men walking on the beach, riding bikes, walking their dogs. It's just a fun day out. But just a few blocks away, there's public housing, the projects. These are huge buildings with thousands of good people trying to make it through the day-to-day -day struggle. Now, picture a low-income housing building with thousands of people in that building. Now multiply that by 30 buildings and this is the environment that these young men are raised in. The notorious Brooklyn, otherwise known as Crooklyn. On Saturday, January 16, 2016, a man by the name of Shamik Miller became a victim of a homicide as someone discharged a firearm and he was struck in the head in an apartment building in East New York. He was a high-ranking member of the Gorilla Stone Bloods. This is the same gang that Casanova two-time has been repping for over the past 10 years. Miller was a gangster as he lived a life of crime, stacking up over 30 arrests at his young age of 25. Some of those arrests included shootings. He served some of his time in an upstate prison for the crimes that he've committed. These buildings and the grimy streets of New York has cameras all over the place. And these cameras was able to catch Miller and a friend driving up to a building in a silver Nissan Maxima. He entered the apartment building at 3 a.m. with a firearm in his hand. Minutes later, he stumbled out the building with the firearm still in his hand and he collapsed. Law enforcement followed the blood trail back up the stairs to the second floor apartment where they found a big stash of marijuana. The word on the street is that he was planning a robbery and someone who knew his plans betrayed him and he got backdoored. The next day, which was a Sunday, January 17th, police received the call after 9 p.m. and started investigating an execution-style homicide of another man in Brooklyn. The location was West 33rd Street in Coney Island, behind the Surfside Garden housing projects. This area is a gang-infested location where multiple shootings and other violent crimes are committed on a regular basis. The victim was Antoine Flowers, a member of the Dirty Cash Gang out of Brooklyn. Living a life of crime, Anton had an extensive criminal record that consisted of more than 20 arrests. Police started investigating this homicide as a revenge killing for the murder of Shamik Miller that happened the day before. In November 2017, four members of a gang were arraigned in federal court in Brooklyn, charging them with multiple crimes including racketeering. They belong to a gang called the West End Enterprise. This organization has been described as a street gang composed of gangsters from Coney Island apartments. This includes the Sea Rise Apartments, the Gravesend Houses, and Surfside Gardens, also known as Mermaid Houses. The perpetrators thought they had a foolproof plan, but one thing they didn't count on was the abundance of cameras in these New York streets. The homicide was caught on camera in 4K. The video showed Michael and Taishin following Antoine as he exited the mermaid houses. Michael then pulled out a firearm and hit Antoine in the back of the head. Antoine passed away instantly. They then ran to the getaway car driven by Maurice and then they disappeared into the night. This gang engaged in the distribution of narcotics witness intimidation, extortion, and multiple acts of violence that include the revenge shooting of Anton Flowers. The victims of these organizations aren't just the people who lose their lives. It's the women, children, and men that live a law-abiding lifestyle, but due to their housing locations, are victimized on an everyday basis. Because of this, the case was brought up as part of a Project Safe Neighborhoods, which is a program that brings together all levels of law enforcement and the communities they serve to reduce violent crime and make neighborhoods safer for everyone. 
As part of the program, the U.S. Attorney Office and the federal, state, and local law enforcement develop strategies to reduce violent crimes. A superseding indictment stated that the West End Enterprise is an ongoing organization whose members function as a unit for a common purpose of achieving the goals of the gang. Tasheen Cooper, Michael Lai Bird, and Maurice Washington pled guilty to their charges. They admitted to the murder of Anton Flowers. They committed the homicide because they thought Flowers was responsible for the death of their friend, Shameek Miller. I'm not sure about Tasheen's sentence, but the getaway driver, Maurice Washington, at 30 years old, was sentenced to 25 years in prison. Michael Lai Bird, at 33 years old, was sentenced to 32 years in prison. The circle of violence in Brooklyn will never stop. The only thing you can do is prosecute those responsible for the violent crimes that they commit. Laying dad in front of his crib just like a dope mat. 16 up in my nine, he getting all that. First five hit his chest, the rest hit his ball cap. All shot from that pump, hit his front, make him fall back. That's what happened when I come through with no black. Not a fiction in my rap, these is all facts. If you enjoyed this content, subscribe to the channel and click on the next episode from Big City Crime TV. Hey, 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 hey.